last year in January, Elon Musk's neuroscience startup Neuralink implanted a chip in the human brain for the first time. Here's the latest update. In a video streamed on X, formerly known as Twitter, the first Neuralink patient is seen using his mind to play online chess. The 29-year-old Nolan Arbar was paralysed below the shoulder after an unfortunate diving incident. In a video that's now gone viral on social media, Nolan is seen playing chess on his laptop and moving the cursor using the Neuralink device. In the hospital a day later, um, I have no like cognitive impairments. Yeah, so we started out with a few, trying out a few different things. Um, we basically went from what we call kind of differentiating, like imagine movement versus um, attempted movement. So a lot of what we started out with was attempting to move. So I would attempt to move, say, my right hand, left, right, forward. And um, from there, I think it just became intuitive for me to start imagining the cursor moving. So how does this entire process work? Neuralink's techn technology mainly works through an implant called the Link. It's a device about the size of five stack coins that's placed in a region of the brain that controls the intention to move through invasive surgery. The aim here is to enable human brains to communicate directly with computers. In other words, Neuralink wants to build direct communication channels between the brain and computers. Its initial goal is to enable people to control a computer cursor or keyboard using their thoughts alone. Interestingly, the startup, which last year won approval from US regulators to test its brain implants in people, has grand ambitions. Its vision is to supercharge human capabilities. The startup aims to treat neuro neurological disorders like ALS or Parkinson's. Basically, Neuralink plans to help patients overcome a host of neurological conditions. In fact, in the future, the firm could facilitate speedy surgical insertions of its chip devices to treat conditions like obesity, autism, depression and schizophrenia.